Greetings, everyone. Nothing says summertime quite like road trips to talk taxes. The Tax Restructuring and Equalization Task Force has announced their eight town halls statewide. Here are the details and the League's plan of engagement. First, the task force will meet in Brigham City, Kearns, Richfield, St. George, Kaysville, Roosevelt, Moab, and Lehigh. The first meeting will occur on June 25th, and the final meeting will occur on July 30th. You can see the locations and schedules on our website here at this link. The 10 legislators and four non-voting experts on the task force will meet with the public for three hours. The first hour will be an informal open house, and the second two hours will be a public hearing with comments from the public. The town hall will explain the structural imbalance within the state budget. For example, income tax revenue is growing rapidly, but according to the Utah State Constitution, income tax must only be spent on public or higher education. That means all of the other general state government needs are paid for through state sales tax and other revenues. While sales tax revenue is indeed growing, it is not growing at the same rate as the income tax. Finally, residents are spending more on untaxed services like music streaming, like when I download music on my phone, and less on tax goods like CDs, which I no longer buy for music. As a reminder, state tax reform could have a major ripple effect on cities. Changes to the sales tax base or rates would impact the budgets of every one of our 248 cities and towns. Let's say, for example, that the state decided to broaden the base and charge sales tax on ski lessons and then reduce all sales tax rates accordingly. Broaden the base, lower the rate. That way, the net result would be the same amount of state tax revenue as before. That works for the state budget. However, most cities in Utah do not have ski lessons within their boundaries. Those cities would not see the benefit of including ski lessons in their expanded sales tax base. Instead, those cities would actually see a reduction in their sales tax revenues because of the drop in the rates. That's one potential ripple effect of changes to sales tax. Changes to property tax or the motor fuel tax could also have a ripple effect. Changes to the income tax only would not have a ripple effect on cities and towns. With all that being said, here is the League's plan of engagement with the task force. The League Board of Directors and League staff will be at every task force meeting. Board members intend to testify about this concept of the ripple effect. Likewise, we are printing and distributing a tax brief to explain how cities and towns are financed and the overlap with state tax policy. We appreciate the legislature's willingness to listen to all stakeholders, particularly those of us in local government. We urge our members to attend the open house and the hearing and to coordinate with their local league board members and league staff. You can see the mayors or council members that represent you on the league board of directors on our website. It is important that we, the league board and the league staff, understand your concerns about tax reform so that we in turn can relay them to the task force. As such, please contact us anytime to talk taxes. It is also important for you to articulate to your local legislators this concept of the ripple effect and for all of us to work together to ensure that the state and local governments have sustainable revenue sources to provide services and infrastructure to Utah's current and future residents. Thanks for your involvement in the League, and we look forward to seeing you at the upcoming task force meetings around the state. Remember that government closest to the people governs best.